Okay, this video is going to tell you about the catalog area within the configuration section in the Magento admin system. Once you log in, you'll be taken to your dashboard and all you've got to do is hover your mouse over the system menu and then scroll down there to configuration. Now as we've mentioned before there are several configurable links on the left hand side there. I'm going to talk you through this section here, the catalogue section. So firstly if you actually click on catalogue. Now there are several options within this section including the ability to allow guests to write reviews on your products. At the moment on our website if you are actually able to click on a product you will see a link that says write a review of this product. That enables your customers who've got an account with you to be able to put their opinion on what they've bought from you. And there you can see the link there. And further on down you've got a section called front end. Here you can choose how you want to list your products within the home page and on the categories. Now at the moment we have got all our products listed in a grid format that is currently four products wide and two deep. So we've got eight featured on the front page there. This is basically where you can decide to set how many products per page are actually shown and also the other options that you can have. So for instance as we've got lines of four we've allowed the customer to either put 8, 12 or 16. As we've put there, 8 is default, but if you actually scroll down, you can then choose 8, 12 or 16, of course. Further on down, you've got the ability to add a sitemap. All you have to do with that is literally select Yes from the drop-down box. The Products Alert section below that allows the customer to be informed when any of your prices are changed. This could be a good thing, but also if you're changing all the time, they perhaps do not want to get bombarded with emails. So we, at the moment, have set this to be off. So select No from the drop-down box. Next on the left-hand side, we've got a tab called Inventory. Now Magento can actually manage your stock for you. By default, it is actually set to Yes. Now, although this can be a good thing, you may find that if you enter 100 quantity for a product, and then 100 of those products have actually been purchased from you that item will automatically go to out of stock so unless you're updating your stock quantities within Magento very often you'll find that you may end up with a lot of products which say on the store that they're out of stock but in fact they're not so for now I'm going to switch this to no now also on the left here you have the ability to add a Google sitemap now at the moment we've got the sitemap set to be off but we want to run it so what I'm going to do in this drop-down box here I'm going to select yes and I'm going to put the start time as one o'clock in the morning because you don't really want it to be running during the day when many of the customers are probably going to be on your store now the Google sitemap is actually utilized by Google Webmaster Tools so now I'm going to show you how to sign up for an account for that this basically enables Magento to tell Google when your store is updated because every time you add a new product it adds a link into the sitemap when it's regenerated and that obviously informs Google that there's a new 